All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mommy Me Time Summit. I am so excited for another amazing expert and interviewer and just um, interviewee, uh, just talking more about how you as moms in this new year or new season, whenever you're really watching this, can prioritize your health and self-care in sustainable ways, whatever season of motherhood you're in. And today I have on with me Angel Hill at a time to kind of talk about wallet-friendly wellness. I just love this topic and I'm so excited to learn from you because I just think that one of the most common barriers to health, to wellness is cost, right? And of course, some things cost more than the other things, but there are ways that you can have a wallet-friendly wellness life. And so, so excited to talk about that. Before we get in, can you just jump on in and introduce yourself and tell us more about you? Yeah. So I am Angel Hill and I am a naturopath. I have been a naturopath for the last 14 years and I have been in a clinic setting and I am now currently bringing my business online so I can help people all over the place, which I'm really excited to do. Um, but during that time, and even before that time in my personal health, I, I really enjoyed women's health. That was always something I was interested in. And I keep hearing the same stories this last 14 years over and over again. Everybody needs more energy and the hormones are messed up. <laughs> and I thought, okay, when I get online, you always they always tell you like, what do you want? You do your favorite part of it. And I was like, that's my favorite part, helping women feel better. <laughs> and so that's how I got here. <laughs> I love it because, you know, I just think in your in your teens, in your twenties, it's just energy, your hormone levels are different as you enter your thirties and you know, all those things. Cause you're right. I think what most people don't realize is there's a lot of things that are taxing on our energy that we, we don't, we may not know is taxing our energy and it could be some things in our lifestyle or our environment and also our hormones, not just your estrogen, progesterone guys, there's way more, but like <laughs> impacted as well. And that's kind of like in you under the surface that you might not realize is, is Absolutely. the cause of it. And so I love that you kind of like get to the root of the issue. And so given that you help women with energy and um, their hormone health and all that, um, I'm, I bet some of the ways you do that is by helping them really figure out how to do that in a wallet friendly way. So tell us a little bit, like when you consider wallet friendly wellness, what, 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 would, what does that mean? Well, it means for me, how can I spend the least amount of money, but still get quality food? <laughs> That's kind of how I looked at it. And I want to say, I just ran across this study today where they compared the Mediterranean diet, which is a really good non-processed food diet compared to the standard American diet in this study. And what they discovered is that people actually paid about $25 less a week per person for the, for the healthier diet, because you're not buying all the snacks and everything like that. <laughs> so that's what it means for me is just to really be able to buy quality food at a lower price and not just food either, but like personal items. And in a few minutes, I'm sure I'll be talking about um, things to clean your house too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny because I've been thinking about toxic load is just so, I mean, when I learned about toxic load and one of the things that are connected to cleaning your house is the synthetic toxins that bear a load on your body. I just was like, how come nobody ever told me about this? Yeah. <laughs> nobody ever told me about this, that all the things I've used in my life or could be impact. And I was really young when I, and I'm, I guess I'm still young, but like figured it out. So it, it didn't feel like switch, like it had a huge impact, but now it does. And I realize that it does. Right. So yes. I mean, I think that's important. The food, the products we're using. Um, Cause I do think when people think about health and wellness, they just think about exercise and diet really, but there are these other, these other things. And so I love it. So give us some tips. Like what, how can we I don't know. Just give us all the tips. Yeah. So let's start with fruits and vegetables. So people are always like, oh, well, I can't find it for to buy all organic. So I like to, I have this real basic idea. If you can't get to something I'm fixing to tell you about in a minute, but what you need to do is think about it. Do you eat the skin of this fruit or vegetable? So tomatoes, <laughs> things like that, you're eating the skin. You probably want that to be organic. But if you're not eating the skin, you can probably get away with it not being organic. So like avocados, oranges, things like that. So that's just a real easy thing. If you're in the grocery store and you can't remember, if you're somebody who likes to do a lot of research, <laughs> then I recommend going to the environmental working group. You can find them online. And I think it's ewg.org and they have the dirty dozen and the clean 15. So you can actually take pictures of that if you want with your phone and have that. And that really gives you like, they do the research every year they put new stuff out. So you can say, okay, this week, I don't need to spend money on this, you know, $5 avocado. <laughs> I can spend it other places. So that's one of my first tips. I really like yeah, and tell us, so so that that links into the conversation around toxic load or you know synthetic toxins or pesticides, all of that. And again, that it's 
which just is just it baffles my mind that's on food we eat and obviously you know farmers are trying to produce a mass amount so they want to protect their crop but tell us a little bit about like why we should consider like you know the organic or why we should you know not eat the skin like what's on that that could potentially impact us and how so unfortunately, all of those chemicals can actually mimic our hormones in our body. There's a whole lot of other reasons, but I'm going to give you the reasons I'm really good at. Um, and so when that does that, that causes not only issues with female hormones, but also male hormones as well. And some things that we're seeing that say 15 years ago, when I started in this business, we didn't see are things like girls starting their periods much younger. Um, we're seeing boys 18 years old come into my clinic with medical doctors telling them their testosterone is too low. So these are things you just didn't see 15 years ago. And the reason is, is, you know, there's millions of studies out there you can pull from, but basically we have all this toxic load coming at us from all these different ways, the things we breathe, the things we put on our body. And one of the things I talk about with wellness is like deodorant. You want to keep it aluminum free. Um, there's been many studies that say aluminum could have an impact on our memory and dementia over time if we're consistently putting it. And that area underneath our armpit is pretty thin. So it takes in everything that we've got there. Um, Another thing is synthetic fragrances, which are everywhere. We plug them into walls. <laughs> we put them on our in our beauty products, our shampoos. Synthetic fragrances are really bad about mimicking hormones. And so I've actually had clients who've gotten pregnant after they've got all of the synthetic four hormones out of their life. It took them like a couple of weeks and they get pregnant immediately because they just suddenly have such a less to toxic load. It's crazy. And, and, and I, guys, when I entered into this world of learning about all this, it I just remember being like, I'm not going to try to change everything at one time. Like I picked one thing and for yes. me, like my, you know, it was my lotion because I was like, okay, my skin is my largest organ and that what I put in my body is just as important. I put on that and it will go inside. So I just changed that. And then, it's, then I was like, okay, my cleaning solutions, then let me look for another solution. And, you know, allowing that process, but obviously in certain cases, if you are feeling a lot of effects, you might need to do a kind of a big detox, but there are ways to even slowly do it. And and you know, what's interesting, I think with that is that often we think, okay, just like you know, we were talking about with um, organic food, like often at, I find that the, the, excuse me, the less toxic alternatives are cheaper. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I just use guys, I use coconut oil I like that. And it was fine for my type of skin. It wasn't like oily. It did. And it was used a little bit and it was like, cheap to do that. <laughs> you know, I use that for my hair. I, I just, and I, you know, and I, I'm a huge into essential oils as people know. And like that, I just started making little cleaning solutions, which actually ended up being cheaper in the end. Right. Absolutely. Like white vinegar is used. I use it for everything. <laughs> and if you don't like the smell of vinegar, you might need to find it, you know, so yeah. My, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I put a little, you know, something in there, but I don't do pure but, vinegar, maybe some little bit of water or something like that. But it's so, oh yeah, I have little recipes and if anybody needs them, they can get me on social media and I'll, I'll tell, um, alt health angel and I will send them to you, but just easy things to do. And it's so much cheaper. And I have kind of actually come to enjoy making that kind of stuff. Yeah. Huh. Like I do it as soon as I'm fixing it clean, I'll make it all up. And I just, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I, I've really come to like, if and I'm in a season with young kids, right? So I don't make a lot of extra things, but when I did, I, or when I do, I make a lot, or I'm like, I just know what to buy. And it's the same thing actually with nutritious food, going back to that. Like I now know, like if I were going to eat out, I know where to go that I'm going to get a nutritious meal for me and my, as, as best as I can. Right. It's not quite like when, when you make it. So anyways, well, I love that idea. Oh, I'm go sorry. Ahead. No, go ahead. I, just, go ahead. I love the idea that you had mentioned earlier about doing it a little bit of time. And normally, unless people are really in a fertile state and trying to get pregnant, I normally recommend as things go out, that's when you replace them. Mm -hmm. So don't get it all at once. It gets expensive. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Um, I think one thing I used to really talk more, I mean, I still do is adding in by crowding out. Like you just add, you know, as, as it, you crowd out, well, whatever. Anyways, that I usually talk about this with food, just like when I eat more broccoli, I'm going to eat less of other things. Right. And so it could be the same way where it's like, you're just replacing this. So you're no longer using this. So, um, okay. So fruits and veggies, that's one. What's a, what are some other tips? Um, so yeah, I look for that clean 15, like we talked about and uh, if you really want to go deep in it, um, I also don't be afraid of 
frozen food. Um, you know, a lot of frozen food is picked right off the tree and frozen <laughs> and put in right. there. Um, so especially if it's something that's going to go bad really quickly, like spinach, I tend to buy frozen spinach a lot of times if I don't know for sure that we're going to use it that week, unless I'm making salad with it or something like that. Um, vegetables the same way. So, you know, the, you know, the thing is kind of fresh first, frozen and then canned. But even with canned, I kind of have a little hack that I do sometimes, like if I'm somewhere and I can't get anything else, is I'll drain it out from the can. First off, I try to get BPA-free lining. Um, BPAs are just terrible things, <laughs> go after our hormones as well and a lot of other things. But, um, and then you pour out, say it's peas, you pour them out into like a strainer. And then I put that in the um, pot with broth like bone broth or something like that. So I'll just cook it in that to make it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, no, I love that. And yeah, I think frozen is, you know, we sometimes do frozen steamed vegetables. It's just like, it's so, and it's actually cheaper than if I had got a bunch of carrots and cauliflowers and broccoli and cut them up. We do the, we like the California one, but um, yeah, even like berries, berries are really, they can, they can get pricey fresh, you know? Yes. And so especially if you know, you're going to eat a smoothie or something or, those, those, those are pretty good thought out too. And so I love that, like not being afraid of a frozen, or if you have something kind of going bad, like freeze it and then use it later for something. Else. Absolutely. And I do that with coconut milk. So, you know, the canned coconut milk, if whatever I don't use, I'll put into um, ice cube trays. So then you can just pop out whatever you need. Oh, and two you. things, <laughs> I would just say two things about the grocery store that are really helpful too, are um, make sure you eat something with protein in it before you go in the grocery store, then you're right. not nearly as hungry. And try to buy things. I think this is so helpful. When my daughter was young, when we walked into anywhere, she wanted everything. And I wish that back then I could have got on my phone and ordered stuff and had them bring it to the parking lot. <laughs> so I do that all the time now. And it keeps me from buying things I don't need. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I highly recommend that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or like if you, or if, you know, go, or if you're going to go, go in with that list and try to stick by that list, because there's always little things strategically placed everywhere to kind of capture your eye so oh yeah <laughs> well, any more tips um let's see that's all I can think of oh and just stay away from the fragrances that's my big one if if you could do that and use essential oils like she said perfect <laughs> oh yeah. one more thing you know, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> this no, is not about no, um no saving money but I did want to mention something especially you with little babies out there if you can get out in the sun in the morning just even for like 10 minutes and if it's too cold to get out maybe stand by a window or something but what we're finding is the circadian rhythm works so much better when your body that your eyes actually see the sun throughout the day so it's going to help your baby sleep better and that's going to help everybody <laughs> you know what's interesting is that like they want to be outside I just, mm -hmm. I just think about how many times my daughter's like, let's go outside, let's go outside. And I'm like, I don't want to be outside because it's just like a harder sometimes, you know, it's so easy to run around here. I can do things, but it's like, I notice for me when I go out, I'm like, oh my gosh, thank God that you wanted to go outside. I'm just, I feel so much better myself, you know? And so mm -hmm. something about the sun and outside that does a wonder to you. Um, um, so that's really great. But yeah. And I think what you were saying with fragrances is just like, there's been so many, like a lot of the fragrances, you might see fragrance or parfum or any of those. And that is not the same for every company because a lot of companies have trade secrets around it, right? They're not required to necessarily say what's in there. And you don't know, there might be something in there that your body doesn't respond well with. And most likely it's synthetic. So we're not saying like you have to ditch it all together, but just be conscious of it. See if there's another alternative um, out there. So that's great. Well, tell us then a little bit more about your free resource that you have. Okay, so it's a nine minute pod. So it's perfect if you're going on a quick walk around the block or something. Um, and it takes you through some actionable steps to have more energy. And it's four main steps. And one of them will be about the circadian rhythm. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But it's just real quick, easy. You can listen to it on double time and make it really quick if you want to. But it's just um, things that are cheap, easy. You don't have to, it doesn't cost any money, but it's just helpful. Um, I've had people tell me they've just done these and like one week they've noticed a major difference. So I really hope that you're your listeners listen, hear that and can do that. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think going with that, what you're saying, it's just a matter of consistency sometimes with those things. I think whether we try a product or a habit or something that may actually really help our lives, we just have to see sometimes it takes takes a while of you doing it repeatedly for it to really, for you to see a result um, of some, or, or feel a result of some kind. Absolutely. So if you could try it for a week, if people are saying they're noticing in one week. Oh, man, I'm <laughs> ready to try it for a week but <laughs> a lot of things you've shared about already are like things that I like I know like 
maybe in less busy seasons of life, I'm like, oh, I do it more regularly. But every time I do, I'm like, oh my gosh, so much better. So, uh, <laughs> well, tell us a little bit, you know, um, just as we wrap up, is there like one or two other things that you, you're thinking about that could really support women as they think about wallet friendly wellness? Yeah, just, you know, when you're thinking about it too, try to, if you can, to plan out. So um, what I did, especially when my daughter was younger, is we would sit around for like 30 minutes on a Sunday night, I think is when we did it, but you can do it anytime. And we would talk about things we wanted to eat the next week. So I would help, we would come up with a menu and it was fun for her. Right. <laughs> And also it got some buy-in because she would want to eat it then because she's a she's still a picky eater and she's in college now. So things like that, you know, getting buy-in. I use Pinterest. I actually started using that when she was little too, just to put a bunch of recipes on so I can always find easy things to do. And then we also started something that may be helpful for your people as well. Like one night a week, we all eat whatever we want. <laughs> And so we became a real quick sheet pan family. So all of us would have different sheet pans in the oven coming up with what we wanted. But just that one night, the rest of the time we had to eat the same. Right. So just fun things to make food fun and the kids involved in it. I do think making food fun is is the key. Like when, you know, and I did, um, I'm a huge advocate of the Whole30. In, in the sense, I really it helped me restore my relationship with food and see that I could re eat whole foods and it be fun and enjoyable and not miss a thing. And, you know, I think that that's the key is that, but many of us maybe have an image of what healthy is or healthy nutrition is, but really it's like, we just need to kind of switch that by trying new things. And you don't need to try something new all the time. It could be once a week. It could be once every other week, but yeah. I promise you like by just trying to introduce new, new things into the mix. And so I love that. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I have an, I, I mean, it was such a pleasure to talk with you. I took so much notes. Um, but I loved everything you think. It was about seven or different things that just to really help women um, moms with the um, friendly wellness. So ladies, make sure you go and grab Angel's free guide um, and free po podcast and with those four steps. Make sure you also join the Facebook community, kind of dive in. If there's any questions, you can ask Angel there. Um, and then if you want access to this and some other bonuses ongoing, you know, sometimes I think sometimes it takes the listening a couple times for it to stick in. You can get the VIP access as well. So thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you. Yeah.